Goes to the heart of the earth. the shadow being protected. I knew I was seeing some buildings up there and I thought I was just goofy. Yeah. Where is she seeing the buildings from? Her vision. Okay. Some in her vision, but they're there. Where are they? Where they are? I was there. Yeah, they're all right. What do you see? <laughs> oh, up at the top. Oh, wow. Yeah, Hayapusu. some uh, directions here. Uh, we are in the most important part uh, of the city because uh, the quality of work that we have here. If we are taking this structure, you will notice that there is a kind of line ascending that's coming from the south and moves like this. Look at that, there is the line and moves around. It's making a spiral, yes? See that? Moves like that and ends here. And uh, this uh, protuberance, uh, or this polyedrum, or this prisma, it's uh, pointing to the four directions, the base, and the base where it is, which is this kind of table. If uh, we could uh, take uh, a compass, then uh, that will take uh, the directions. You know, that corner there with the protuberance, that will point to the north, that other corner opposite to the south, east and west. And the same, uh, the polyhedron with the four corners. This instrument, uh, it's very difficult to understand how it works. We have to be here really every day to really capture the idea of uh, how, sure is. Really how that moves. And then, uh, even there, some things will be missing. So we need dedication for that. This is why there is not no book that can explain that. Well, beside my work, eh? 
in, in, in some of uh, the approaches that I did about it. Let me give you some examples. Right now we are in February. Look, the sun is going to set there, okay? December sources, the sunrise there. June sources, the sunrise here. For the thunder is. <laughs> September and March, the sunrise here. Okay? Remember, June, September and March, December. Okay? June rising, June setting. December rising, December setting. September and March, September and setting. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, when the sun rises in June, the sun rises there, illuminates the polyhedron, and the shadow will be projected here. But as soon as the sun starts moving like that, the shadow will approach to the table and will move toward the other position when the sun is setting, as is happening right now, more or less. Mm -hmm. Okay? December will be the opposite, illuminating, projecting, the sun advances, the shadow approach to the table, and then moves to the other direction and the sun goes. September and March will be a little more regular, okay? So, more or less, in the opposite movement of the shadow's projections, the masters, they will recognize how this uh, solar observatory works. According to the conventional history, uh, the astronomy for the Incas was uh, just uh, in order to uh, know how to cultivate. They don't understand really about uh, the greatness of the cosmic influence because the astronomy. That was all, you know, they, they created their observatories to know when they have to plant. Yes, this is ridiculous. You know, this is the secondary aspect. And everybody, if a society can create an observatory like that, is because they know already how to plant. They don't need that. That would be for another kind of connections, okay? To the south, we have a throne. This is a throne, because the masters will be watching toward that position and also directing uh, in order to control better this place to work. But this is not isolated. This works with something else. And for that, I want to invite you to approach here. Come a little closer there. Just come, come around here. OK. Yep, two, three, four. Okay, so June solstice, the most important day of the Andean calendar. The sunrise, and because the position of the polyhedron, the sun does not illuminate the person that will be here. Imagine a priestess or a priest just here. This is a group of seven steps. I am in the number five. This is the seven, I am in the number five. So the priestess will be here, and as soon as the sun rises, the sun will touch the polyhedron. And it will be a, a moment that the sun ascends a little more and the rays of the sun will go over the polyhedron and the ray of the sun will come here to the forehead to create a solar initiation, June 21st. In that moment, this uh, priest, priestess will be awake to another level, to another solar initiation. After that, the sun continues ascending and this first illumination comes down. Until the moment that the sun arrives to the level of the heart. In that moment, the two little circles that are here, you see that? Mm -hmm. yep. The two little circles mm -hmm. will be illuminated following a triangular position, like that. Mm -hmm. And this table, because the two little circles, represents a power animal. When you see that table from where you are, that could be as a guinea pig from where you are. But when I see this table from my side, this transmits the energy of a puma which symbolically, after the priest, the priestess being awake, being uh, initiated or reinitiated by the sun, then will awake the power animal, the power animal to join this master in all this work. In 1992, after being here for many years, I was uh, really uh, in touch and understanding that much more need to be here. And then I discovered how that was working. Here you have in the pictures how the sun illuminates the forehead. Okay? The sun illuminates oh, yeah. the forehead. Wow. Okay? The sun touches the forehead of the person that is here. And after that, 
the sun touches the hard level and the two little circles, okay, which will be the power animal awakening in that day, June 21st, which is a solar initiation, an amazing phenomena that is uh, produced in this place. I discovered that in 1992, and in 1997 I presented in my book uh, The Awakening of the Puma. I presented that book in June, in June 12th, mm. nine days before June solstice. The day of June solstice here was full of people, <laughs> because they wanted to see that. And every year, June 21st is more difficult. Here is compact, full of people, so far that people they cannot approach anymore. There are some fights, discussion, and every time that I am here, I have to explain how it is. And right now, it's acceptable by the 90% of people. People, they were saying, no, that's not real, that doesn't happen. But they came and it's proven. The witnesses are the pictures and all that. So this is an idea of a solar initiation. And we are in a nice moment for a solar, you know, reconnection. Because we are in a, the most important part of Machu Picchu, which is the solar pyramid. We are in the top uh, and we are close to the sunset. This is why uh, we are inviting you do you understand this? Yes? yes. You see yes. The, the idea of that, which is amazing? Ah, something else. This is a very precise phenomenon, which means that the two little circles will be marked in a triangular, you know, geometry every year, but after 365 days, after going and back. And there are little points. Then this is very special, because most of the time you have a window, a door, a temple located, but in this case you have two little circles which is making this phenomenon exclusive yeah. and beautiful, okay? So because here we are, and uh, in a few more minutes we have to descend uh, because it uh, will be the time that the park will be closed and also we will be almost close to take our bus down. We, we don't want to walk until the village. <laughs> we are doing here a last exercise and for that, uh, without touching the rock, uh, if we will be alone, that's fine. But the guardian is around, then uh, in not touching the rock, uh, we are doing here a circle around this sundial. Let's do a circle around. Mm -hmm. 